This is the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seven, and it reads, "But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer." All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahushai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahushai, meaning He delivers. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Rakaha Kodash. Spirit Holy, the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach one and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace, salutation to the Akiam, fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, the Akwathium, listening and learning in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom. Akiam means brothers. Akwathium means sisters. Shalawam means peace be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. 1 Peter 4 verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand, right? The end of all things is at hand, right? Destruction's coming. A sword's coming, right? Ultimately, the missiles are coming. But leading up into that grand event, when Yahweh Shai returns with the host of heaven, there's going to be a lot of death, a lot of grievous, horrific deaths, pestilences, ravishing of households, invading of households, Gerga troops, FEMA camps, detention centers, famines. The sword, love of many waxing cold. These things are at hand. The end of the, the end of this kingdom, queendom, Esau's queendom, is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, right? Sober, being of sound mind, right? Sharp, right? What makes us sober? What makes us have sound mind? These scriptures. Let's look at this word sober. So for Neo in the Strong G4993. To be of sound mind. To be in one's right mind. Right, sound mind. These scriptures make you have a sound mind. Two thirds of our people out here don't have a sound mind, man. To exercise to exercise self-control. Right, two thirds of our people cannot exercise self-control, man. Right, these heathen nations, you know what it is already. Right, the Mosai is not dealing with them. Right, but two-thirds of our people, they're, they're bulls in a net. Right, and it's only the scriptures. That give you this that, that, that gives you this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. Right? Isaiah 33, verse 6. Right, we'll get that next, Lord willing. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, right, of sound mind. And watch unto prayer, right? Watch unto prayer. Watching what's going on. Steadfast in the prayer, staying in prayer. And observing, rede redeeming the times. Right, Isaiah 33, verse 6. Isaiah 33, verse 6. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of of thy times right stability stability is a sound mind right and strength of salvation the fear of the lord yahweh is his treasure right because as things get worse you're going to see more and more bugging out you're going to see two thirds of people digress and become worse right things are about to get horrific out here man this morning on the news alerts there was all kinds of um judgments all kinds right the the main headline was that uh the judgment that went down in virginia 
right? And a few days ago, the judgment that went down in Colorado Springs, death angels are out here, man. Right? I wanted to, uh... This came out on Zero Hedge, Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashim El Shai turned up. After years of stimulus come surging debt and falling wages. We're just going to read the first sentence. As interest rates rise on everything from mortgages to car loans to treasuries, that also means interest is rising on credit card debt, right? And it's becoming, it's becoming harder and harder for people to live, to survive. So what's that going to cause? Brute beasts. Right? And those without the oil, those that are not locked into the scriptures, those without the sound mind, they're going to turn into bug outs out here, man. Top virologists who voted for, for, for Steph Curry fast break, third quarter buzzer beater mandates die suddenly and unexpectedly. Right? Squid Games participants, right? A top virologist who had, who advocated for Steph Curry fast break mandates in America died suddenly and unexpectedly last week. Dr. Al Almira Oveda Fuller, an associate professor of microbiology and immunology at the University of Michigan, died Friday at the age of 67. Right? Judgments, man. Right? And you can say what you want. You know, you go, naysayers can say what they want you, you don't know you don't know listen man the, the 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 serpent piss listen if if you can't connect the dots this came out on bno news november 22nd 2022 pilot dies while plane takes off from chicago an envoy air pilot passed out while taking off from Chicago O'Hare International Airport and was later pronounced dead, officials said on Tuesday. The co-pilot took control of the plane and managed to land safely. The incident involved Envoy Air Flight 3556, an Embraer E-175 aircraft, which was scheduled to fly to Columbus, Ohio on Saturday night. The flight was flown for American Eagle, which like Envoy Air is part of American Airlines. Right. Right. Sudden deaths, man. The Squid Games participants, man. Strong quake hits Western Turkey, killing two. The 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 you see the word right there, right? Right. In Uganda, appears under control. Indonesia earthquake, six point nine magnitude quake hits off Sumatra. Right. These are the times. Right? First Thessalonians 5 verse 4. But ye brethren, right, the elect are not in darkness, right? The elect are not in darkness. Two thirds of the people out here are gonna bug out. They're in darkness. They don't have the not they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, or understanding. Right? They're drunk with the wine of Babylon. The wine being the philosophy, their idols, the trusting and oppression. That that day should overtake you as a thief. Right? Those that are in darkness, the day, what day? The day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is going to overtake, overtake you as a thief, man. Unawares. You're not going to see it coming. Right? What does it say in, uh, as in the days of Noah? Right? People were doing their thing. Let's get that scripture. Luke 17, verse 26. Red letter. Our Lord said this. Yahweh Shai. And as it was in the days of Noe, Noah be, Noe be Noah, so shall it be also in the day of the Son of Man, right? When Yahweh Shai returns. What were they doing in the days of Noah? They did eat. They drank. They married wives. Right? Business as usual. Right? They were given in marriage until the day that Noah, Noe, it says here, Noe, it's Noah, entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all, right? 
what, 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 what do we see going on out here? People in darkness, gross darkness. Not redeeming the times, unaware of what's going on. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Right. I'm going to put an extension on my house. I'm going to expand my, my, my backyard. I'm going to bring in some rocks from, from the Middle East and pave my driveway. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to flip that. Verse 29. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus, here's the point. Shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed? Right, so people are going to be caught unawares out here, man. People are going to be doing their day-to-day -day life. All hell going to be breaking loose. People are going to be suffering. People are going to be dying. But people are still, still going to be consumed with how they're going to get by and how they're going to do their thing, man. That day going to overtake them as a thief. Verse 5. First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 5 verse 5. Ye are all the children of light. That's the elect. The light being the knowledge. Right? And who gives us this knowledge? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the light. And the children of the day, the elect. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right? We're not walking out here uh, uh, asleep. In gross darkness. Darkness being ignorance. Verse 6. Therefore let us not sleep as do others. Right. Everybody out here is asleep, man. Right. Listen, my whole family, blood family, my whole family on this planet, they asleep. Blood family. I'm not talking about the brotherhood. I'm talking about blood, uh, my physical family, you know? Siblings, cousins, mother, father. They all asleep. First Thessalonians 5 verse 6. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, right? Watch. Watching for what's to, watching and redeeming what time we're in. Being aware of what time we're in. That's that's the mindset of the, the mind state of the elect. And be sober. We read earlier it means sound mind. Right? Verse 7, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. Right? Two-thirds of our people, these heathen nations, they're, they're asleep. In the night, right? The darkness, lack of knowledge, no light. Yahweh Shai is not stopping with them. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night, right? Drunken with what? Babylon juice, Babylon's wine, Babylon's philosophy, Babylon's idols, right? Babylon being America, America the Great, this beast, right? Drunken in the night, right? They're, they're in the dark. Right? No clue as to what's going on. Biden signs G20 declaration to build on success of EMIC. Right? You see that word right there? Right? President Bo Jiden and 19 top world leaders recently signed off on a call to build the success of the European Union and many others have referred to such right as right you know what it is man right I did a lesson on this a few days ago right they're they're, they're moving and people out here are going to be caught unawares, right? Right? And you can't be ignorant. Right? Two-thirds of our people are, are, are not ignorant in a small matter. They're not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. Uh, Sirach 5, verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything. Right? And this is the mindset of the elect, man. The elect are not ignorant of, of, of anything in a great matter or small, right? <laughs> the elect are watching everything. Great matters and small matters, man. Measuring the times, right? 
Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5 verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, right? Circumspectly mean, meaning to be looking around, right? We just read, be not be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small, right? That 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 entails being circumspect, looking around, watching everything, right? Not as fools, right? And who are the fools? Two-thirds of our people. These other nations. Right? It's not for them anyways. The Most High Yahweh is not supping with them. But two thirds of our people, they're, they're, they're fools out here. They're in the dark. Right? But as wise, we're the wise elect. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right? Redeeming the time. Observing. Knowing what time we're in. Let's look at this word redeeming. Get the correct context. Exagorazo in the in the Greek Exagorazo right Strong's G one eight O five to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity. For doing good. To buy up. Ransom. Figurative. To, to rescue from loss. Redeem. Right. Redeem in the times man. Right. Let's look at the root word. Right. We're not in the time of playing around. We're not in the time of mirth. Out of, from, by, away, from. Right, we're not in the time of. We're not in the time of uh, playing games, man. Right? We see judgment going out. Right, we see judgment going out <laughs> like crazy. Right, yeah, that's it on that. Right, but we're we're we're, we're being a, we are aware and watching everything, man. Walking in the spirit, right? Because the times are evil, man. The days are evil. Evil meaning bad times. It's about to get. It's it, it's already turned up. It's about to be turned up times times seven. Luke twenty one. Right, and we see uh, Congress be fighting with one another. Right, that's the next article. We'll just read the first or, first or second sentence. This one right here. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard blast by, blasts by uh, Jiden for sending cash to Kiev while squeezing Americans, right? Using the, the IRS, right? Former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard has ripped into, into President Jiden, the Washington elite, and the U.S. military industrial complex, accusing the government of wringing Americans dry by hiring an army of internal revenue service agents while sending billions of dollars to the MIC, an unaccountable and corrupt, <laughs> says here, <laughs> right, in the Ukraine. This is this is gonna this is gonna be a uh, 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 this is gonna be a spark within Congress amongst uh, amongst uh, uh, the, the people of America, right? Because every every minute you turn around, you're seeing on the news that uh, money's getting pumped overseas. Meanwhile, people people are being squeezed. Mark three verse twenty three. 
And he called unto him and said unto them in parables, right? And this is red letter. Our Lord said this. How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, right? And we're seeing division within America. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end, right? And we're seeing the division and it keeps getting, it's escalating more and more, right? Right? It's not prophecy. This right here, sell out Elon Musk says independent media will stay banned on Twitter. Only trusted media outlets allow. We'll read the first uh, paragraph. As many expected he would do, Elon Musk has changed his mind and decided to keep Twitter as is with independent media outlets prohibited from posting content. Right. You see that? So this was supposed to be the poster boy, right? The poster boy of free speech. Right. Scripture says, let your, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Right. These people are wicked. And this just goes to show you big tech is going to come down hard. It's going to censor. Right. Amos 8 and 11, right? The famine of the word. Let's close. Luke 21, verse 34, red letter. Our Lord said this. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, right? Your hearts, hearts being mine, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, right? You, you, you're just out here being a drunk. you out here partying, banqueting, in the club, making it rain, popping bottles, Three days a week, four days a week, five days a week. You know how Jake get. And cares of this life, right? Cares of this life. You know. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build on this side. You know, I'm gonna stack and save on this side, right? Carnal riches. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna move up the ladder of my of my career, right? Cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares, right? And because you're consumed with the cares of this life, the day of the Lord is going to come upon you unawares. NLT, watch out. Don't let your hearts, hearts be mine, be dull by carousing and drunkenness, right? You're just out here in that mirth spirit, man. And by the worries of this life, right? You're worried about career, retirement, bigger house. Growing your business, right? They're just, just fit carnal things, carnal riches. Don't let that day catch you unaware, right? Right. The, the, the day of the Lord, right? Verse thirty-five. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth, right? A snare, a trap. Snare is a trap, right? People gonna be caught off guard, man. We just read as in the days of Noah. Noah. Verse thirty-six. Watch ye therefore. And pray always, right? And this is the mindset of the elect man, watching and praying, right? Always walking in the spirit that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, right? Because the hell that's coming, the time of Jacob's trouble, the C hip, the M to the O to the T to the B, Jacob's trouble, mass death, bug out central, right? We in this truth, the hopeful elect, we're watching and praying always to be accounted worthy to escape these things, man. Right? Scripture, it says right here, that shall come to pass. So it's going to happen. And to stand before the Son of Man, right? To receive that crown of glory from Yahweh Shai himself. I pray you're edified. Adawan Ratazah. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.